Hi, it's Victoria, and this video is all about creating Facebook ads with the new Facebook call to action buttons embedded in the ads. So this is a pretty exciting feature. If you're wanting to drive traffic to um, a specific landing page that where you want people to take action. And if you're not doing that, well, you're not doing Facebook ads right in the first place. So most of us will be using a variety of, type of ads to send to a landing page to capture an email or a registration or some kind of, obviously we've got some kind of action that we want our audience to take. So this new feature is going to allow you to do that in a way that stands out um, amongst many of the other Facebook ads out there. Now you do use, need to use the Power Editor Chrome extension. So if you haven't done that yet, download your Chrome browser, then um, Google how to, uh, in, how to install Power Editor um, for Chrome, and then that's going to be connected to your Ads Manager. When you're in your normal ads manager, you'll go to the left-hand side and you'll see on the, option, um, on the options there, there's one option for Power Editor. So click in on, on that and you'll see a screen similar to this. Now then you want to select the Facebook page that you want to um, attach the ad to. The ads are actually page post ads, um, but they've got the option to put a call to action button in it. So that's why you need a Facebook page in order to create these type of ads. So we highlight the page that we want to attach the post to, and then we click on create a post. You'll then see this screen where um, you, the first screen is a link ad, which is where the call to action button features. So you can't use it in a photo ad, a video ad, a status ad, or an offer. You need to use it only in um, the link ad. So just leave it on that first selected there. Then you want to send, the URL is the landing page that you're sending your uh, um, traffic to. So you'll put your URL in there. Um, and then you're going to create your post here and write that out in the section here as you would when you create a normal Facebook page post on your actual Facebook page. The advantage to using it uh, to being able to create the post in here is that you can save time and you can also create, you'll see up here it says create unpublished page post in that this page this post will not go live on my page until I hit publish after I've already created the ad, which, you know, is quite, it's quite good for a number of reasons in that, um, you know, if, if you make a mistake, you haven't popped it on your page, you've got time to edit it. But it, more importantly, you can create several ads and test different types of messages without bombing your Facebook page <laughs> fans um, with different versions of your Ad. So this is a, a good creating an unpublished page post gives you a way to to serve the ads without them showing um, without them actually posting on your Facebook page, um, which sounds more complicated than it is. So don't worry too much about that, but just know that you can create the page post in Power Editor with the call to action button. You want to you'll see here here are the button options. So it can say you'll you'll list something in your page post and then it'll have shop now so it might be sent sent to your e-commerce store learn more maybe somewhere where they can download a white paper sign up this one's great for any kind of email registrations newsletter signups blog signups webinar registrations etc book now for an event is great um, or download um, you can choose any one of one of those there I'm actually going to choose on this one, say the sign up button, because I'm going to be sending to a, um, a squeeze page where there's a, a video and that they need to sign up for the webinar registration. So all of these are fairly self-explanatory. To save time, I've already um, created one that I can show you here. So in here, when it's asking for the post text, I'm going to put this information in here. So I want to make sure that I've got some good call to action information in here as well with a link to the landing page. Um, I've woven that through my text just to make sure there's no chance they're going to miss the opportunity to click on my landing page. I only get one opportunity once they're reading this to get them to the landing page, so I kind of want to hit them over the head with that. 
Um, and you know, you can write these page posts as long as you like, or as short as you like. Um, the longer ones seem to sort of frame the action, um, quite well. So it's good if you can give people more of an idea of, of what they're going to expect on the landing page here. Um, you know, it's, it's about platinum prospecting, high value sales techniques. So, you know, we want to sort of let people know about that, let people know about who Wendy is and what, she, how she can help them. But down here is where you know those things where it said um, link title uh, link headline you'll see that here I've made that platinum prospecting that's the name of the program and then you know a little description of the links that go under here um, you'll see everything's kind of like there's a little I button so if you're not sure just click on that and you'll know what, what it is but at least there you can see in the post how that's actually coming up and actually I didn't in this post I put learn more as one of the test options I've done sign up on one of the other ones I have put learn more here so people when they click that are going to go to the landing page if they click one of these in the post they're also going to go to the landing page so I'm kind of creating a bit of, sa of a safety net there and making sure that nobody misses that at all. Now, once you've created that post, um, you'll see that there's a little half moon sign here. That means that it's not published yet. So if you're happy with that post and you're happy for it to go on your page um, and you're only perhaps creating one post and you're happy for um, that your audience to receive that via their organic news feed as, as well as what you're going to be doing in the ads, then you can just go up here and click publish post. If you'd rather keep that as an unpublished page post but use it as a foundation for an ad, then you go up here and, and click create ad. Then you'll be taken, I'll show you here, um, you need to make sure you've got the right um, owner of the account, so you just click that there. Um, to, if you manage a few, you'll probably only have one if it's your own. Um, and then it's going to, um, you're going to need to pick the, uh, it hasn't picked the right um, campaign here. So I'll just pick anything here um, just to kind of get it done there and go, okay. Um, these, then you're going to see um, the three options here for the creative, the audience and the optimization and pricing. So make sure you've got the right campaign selected here. Um, I'm going to select this campaign because that's actually, well, I thought it was the right campaign, but, but yeah, here's the right campaign. So I'm selecting that one. Um, it comes up with an automatic ad name. I'm going to say it's for a Facebook page using a, fa a page post that will automatically come up. It, it's, it's going to select most of this stuff automatically because I've already created the post. So if I click create an ad, it's going to show what that ad is going to look like here for the creative. So I've already done the work with the creative, so that's fine. Then I click here and move on to audiences, do my um, selection there. Optimization and pricing, you can do that on clicks, reach, social or actions. Um, actions is obviously related to that call to action button. Um, now keep in mind any of those are optimized CPM. So you're in the hands of Facebook. So if you want to be more certain about what you're going to be paying a click, I would select uh, cost per click here and select a range within the bidded range. Uh, the, the suggested bids here. Um, you might need to go back and, and review that if you're not getting the reach that you want. But once that's all done, you need to select upload changes and then that's going to go to your ads manager and kick off as an ad with one of these great looking um, buttons here. Here's one that shows the sign up one there for you. So, um, you know, this is a nice high impact piece of real estate that's going to show up in people's news feeds. If, um, you, you just to be um, just so you're aware as well, these won't show up on the right hand side in those smaller ads, they only show up in the newsfeed ads. So go on, give it a go, um, follow this step by step method, and I'm sure you're going to find some success.